Black Friday 2020 is here, and we're here to make your, maybe your life a little easier with this roundup of good deals for some of our favorite gaming stuff. Now, keep in mind though, most of these deals are focused solely on North America and is a mix of different retailers. We're sponsored by absolutely none of this, zero, but clicking some of these links does help out the channel. Now, deals are subject to change, and stuff is generally going to be changing quite a bit from Thursday to Cyber Monday, November 30th. So, we'll link what we can in the description below and try to keep it updated as much as possible for you guys. But let's just dive in. First, we're gonna talk about controllers. Now, if you were lucky enough to snag an Xbox Series X, you might be looking to snag an extra controller or two. Whether it be to switch over to a new one when one dies or you like having a few extra around to play with friends, the Microsoft Store has you covered. Uh, you can get a black, white, or that really cool blue controller for $40. That's actually $20 off. Best Buy has that same deal going as well, but for the blue controller, it's only $15 off. Best Buy knows it's cool and that you'll probably gladly pay an extra five bucks. Now, if you're in need of some extra Nintendo Switch controllers, Walmart is gonna have them for $29 a piece, which is close to $16 off. But they are third-party controllers, just be aware. Now, we didn't see any crazy PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 controller deals at the time of making this video, but if we come across any at all, we'll update the links in the comments like we said. Now on the game side, most retailers are running deals on games for every platform and there is a lot. So we're gonna mention the very best deals. If a game is sold out, chances are another retailer will be offering it for a pretty similar price, so be sure to click around. Now starting off with Nintendo games, Amazon has a ton of Switch games on sale. You can get Luigi's Mansion 3, Link's Awakening, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition for 40 bucks each, as well as Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath for $25. Now for just $9.99, you can get Civ 6 as well. Both Walmart and Amazon are offering Minecraft Dungeons up for $19.99. And sticking with Walmart, you can also get Fire Emblem Three Houses, which was awesome, and Super Mario Maker 2 for 30 bucks each. Amazon has some other first party titles that aren't heavily discounted as much, like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for $49, and the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Edition and Breath of the Wild for $44.99 each. Now on the PlayStation side of things, you can get Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition and God of War for $9.99 each at Walmart, Amazon, and Best Buy, as well as GameStop for God of War. Best Buy has Neo 2 and Medieval for $9.99 as well, along with Maneater, that excellent shark game for only $12.99. Now for $19.99, you can get Doom Eternal and Star Wars Squadrons at Best Buy and Spider-Man Game of the Year Edition for $19.99 at Best Buy, Walmart, and Amazon. Moving on up to more expensive games, you can get the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remake for $24.99 at Amazon, which is one of our favorite games this year. For $27.99 at Best Buy, you can snag FIFA 21 and Marvel's Avengers for $26.99 at Amazon. Last of Us Part 2 is half off at $29.99 at Amazon and Best Buy, and so is Watch Dogs Legion, which came out just a few weeks ago. Ghost of Tsushima is available at $39.99 at Amazon and Best Buy, and Crash 4 is also $39.99 at Amazon. And finally, we have some brand new games, one of which isn't even out yet. Um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Cyberpunk 2077 are $49.99 at Amazon. Moving on to Xbox deals, a lot of them are the same as third-party PlayStation deals, but there are some that we just want wanted to highlight real quick. Titanfall is only $4.49 at Amazon and Gears 5 is down to $4.99 at Best Buy. Halo Wars 2 and State of Decay 2 are $9.99 each at Best Buy. Ori and the Will of the Wisps, which is fantastic, you shouldn't miss it, that's $12.99 at Best Buy. And you can snag Minecraft Dungeons for $14.99 on Amazon. Moving on over to consoles and stuff, let's talk next generation stuff. The PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X, and the RTX 3080 and 3090 graphics cards. <laughs> well, we got nothing here, man. Good luck, dude. Pre-orders out there are hard to come by, but at the time of making this video, they do still have a tendency to pop up here and there from various online retailers in extremely limited quantities. So our best advice is to just follow some deal places and deal blogs and websites on social media and turn on notifications so you're alerted if anything pops up. You gotta be fast and you gotta be ready. Moving on over to other stuff, let's talk big stuff, TVs. This is a tricky one because regardless of sales, TVs are just all over the place for consumers. You know, everyone has a different budget they're working with. Some people are down to spend a lot of cash on TVs. Others really don't want to at all. Everybody needs a different size, yada, yada, yada. So we're just gonna give you a couple of deals we found interesting, but more importantly, some advice first. 
Don't be fooled by a cheap TV or a doorbuster price TV that ends up having zero features. A nice shiny Ultra HD TV is great if you got it for a hundred bucks, but if it has no HDR, it's totally useless and not worth your time. Prioritize finding a TV with at least HDR. That's important and makes a hell of a difference. It'll feel like you bought a great new TV. And then if you have more of a budget, you can consider all the other stuff, like consider a TV that has a 120 hertz refresh rate if you can to take advantage of some more next gen stuff. So there is one of the current best, the LG CX OLED, which has an amazing picture speaking from personal experience and just about every next gen gaming feature you can ask for at both Target and Walmart with the 55 inch coming in at about 1400 bucks and the 65 inch having a significant deal as well at around 19 bucks. These are currently not available, but seem to be bouncing in and out of stock occasionally, so keep your eyes peeled. And the Sony equivalent to that TV, the X900H, is also having similar deals, with you being able to even snag a massive 75-inch one for under 2000 bucks if you're nasty. And on the less extreme end, Best Buy has a Samsung 43-inch LED TV with HDR support for under $300 at $267. Best Buy also has a 43-inch QLED at $400. $427, that is a pretty solid bet. Again, TVs are tricky and much more specific than gaming stuff, so we're gonna keep it simple with these and move on to more game stuff. On the PC gaming side, there's a variety of different decent deals on things and a couple of key random items that just caught our eyes. Maybe you'll find them interesting. First, Office Depot, of all places, has an AOC 23.6 inch curved monitor with FreeSync for like 119 bucks. It may or may not be available while you're watching this, but keep your eyes peeled. Staples also has a deal on a decent, simple IPS monitor if you barely want to spend anything. It's a 23.8 inch AOC monitor with not much going on features wise, but it's a decent panel and it's going for 90 bucks. That's more than 50% off its original price. Now, if you're looking for a gaming laptop, Dell is selling on its site a 17 inch G7 gaming laptop with an RTX 2060, a 512 gigabyte solid state drive, a 10th gen i7 CPU, and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Just over 1200 bucks for a pretty premium gaming laptop that usually goes upwards of 1600 plus. Dell's lower end ones like the G3 are also seeing price cuts ranging in the hundreds. Now, if you're willing to spend a bit more, it seems like Best Buy has an MSI 15 inch laptop with an i7, a 2070 Super, and a one terabyte SSD for 1700 bucks down from $2,200. Now, if you're looking to get into PC gaming and you want a desktop, but you don't really want to spend more than the price of a console, Best Buy has a pre-built desktop I buy power with a GTX 1650, eight gigs of RAM, and a one terabyte hard drive for five 580 bucks. Maybe if you have a younger relative that wants a PC and wants to play games on a PC, this might be a good introductory unit. Then on the subscription side, there are lots of subscription services to throw money at. This Black Friday, there is a lot of really good deals on some of them. First, you can get three months of Game Pass Ultimate for $22.99 at Best Buy, which is usually $44.99. It's actually $7 cheaper than a normal Game Pass subscription. So for $7 less, you get Game Pass, Game Pass for PC, and Xbox Live gold for three months. That's a pretty good deal. On the PlayStation side of things, you can get a year of PlayStation Plus for $32.99 on CD keys and $33.50 on eBay. If you were lucky enough to snag a PlayStation 5, this is a good add-on because not only does it give you online play, but you also get access to PlayStation Plus games like Bug Snacks and stuff for the rest of the year. And it gives you access to the new PlayStation Plus collection, which has most of the PlayStation exclusive you might want to check out, like Uncharted 4, The Last of Us Remastered, and God of War, to name a few. Chances are, if you're at the end of this video, you've probably bought at least one thing, whether it's through us or anything you learned here or anywhere else on the internet, we'd love to hear from you. Any Black Friday deals you've come across. Honestly, for the benefit of the comment section, for the community, if you got a cool deal, maybe share it with someone else. It's a season of giving, you know? Hey, uh, anyway, if you did enjoy this video, maybe we helped you out a little bit with some information. Clicking the like button does help us out. We would appreciate that. And of course, if you're new, consider subscribing, maybe hitting that notification bell because we put out videos every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Good luck shopping out there.